Okay, here we're going to look at another example of integrating with respect to y. So here we're going to find the area, uh, the shaded region. So it's bounded by y equals uh, x plus 2, y equals square root of x, and then uh, bounded below by the x-axis, so y equals 0. And then uh, it looks like this line y equals 2. All right, so again, I think if we were going to integrate this with respect to x, Notice we would have to break this up into two separate integrals again. So to get the area of the triangle, we could really just kind of use geometry. But if we wanted to you know, think about it in terms of uh, an integration, uh, we would take the top function, which is, well, x plus 2, and then we would subtract the bottom one, which would just be y equals 0. That would be, uh, and then we would go, it looks like, from negative 2 up to 0. But then we would have to break it up again and go from 0 up to 4, and we would have to take the, the function on top, which is y equals 2, and subtract the bottom one, which would be uh, square root of x. So we could do this again in two pieces. Let's write it down. So negative 2 to 0, the function on top is x plus 2. The bottom one would just be y equals, well, 0. So all of that dx. And then we would add to that the integral from 0 to 4. Again, the function on top is y equals 2 minus the function on the bottom would be square root of x. And then we could add those together. And, you know, it wouldn't be the end of the world to compute it that way. Um, if we look at it, though, with respect to y, um, you know, if I were to integrate this with respect to y, to me it's now it's always the same curve on the top, always the same curve on the bottom. And that, to me, suggests, hey, we could actually set it up with respect to y and make it a single integral, which might make it hopefully a little bit easier to compute. So again, to do that, we do the right minus the left curve. And as we said before, um, we have to make these curves, uh, we have to write them in the form x equals x equals. Okay, so, you know, we've got y equals square root of x. Well, we could just square both sides, so that would give us x equals y squared. So we'll use that version. And then y equals x plus 2, well, equivalently, we can just rewrite that and say um, y minus 2, that would equal x. All right, so now if we do the rightmost curve, well, the rightmost curve would be x equals y squared minus the leftmost curve, which would be x equals y minus 2. So this is what we're integrating with respect to y. The smallest y-coordinate that gets used is 0. The largest y-coordinate that gets used is 2. So now this is the function that we're integrating. So 0 to 2, y squared, I'm just going to distribute. That'll be minus y plus 2 dy. So now if we calculate our antiderivative, we'll get y to the third over 3 minus y squared over 2 uh, plus 2y. And then again, we're evaluating all of this from 0 to 2. So if we plug in 2, 2 cubed is 8 over 3. Uh, 2 squared is 4 over 2, so we'll get 2. Uh, 2 times 2 will give us a positive 4. Uh, the lower limit of integration, when we plug in our 0, will just be a bunch of zeros. So it looks like we're left with 8 over 3. So negative 2 plus 4 will give us positive 2 over 1. Well, we could multiply top and bottom by 3. So that looks like that would give us 8 plus 6. So 8 plus 6 would be 14 over 3. And that would be the value for our area in this case.